you versus Porter. Is that something that you could ever see? Um, when I was asked about a potential fight with any of these guys, I mentioned all the names there at Welterweight. Porter name came up. Uh, I told uh, Ray same thing. You know, I think that would be a terrific matchup. I think the fans would love a matchup. He's in it every single time. He's an exciting fight. He's an aggressive, come forward type of fighter. You know, so I think that would be a great matchup. Stylistically, I think it's perfect. Entertaining uh, for the entertaining, fans. Yes, yes. So of course, if that's if that's something that was available and and, and there was no other fight at the moment that it excites me more, then I would definitely look into it. So, One more second. okay, awesome. So, so he, he's somebody that you would definitely be interested in as well. Sure. And I know we, we, we touched base a little bit on uh, Garcia, Danny, which would be Garcia versus Garcia. That'd be quite interesting. Yeah, we, we already mentioned that, you know, even since last year, but for one reason or another, it just hasn't came about. I know, I know he, I think from what I heard, he's push, pushing real hard to get the Spence fight. So maybe that's part of the reason why, you know, things didn't work out so well, but I mean, everybody wants the best. Totally. You know, and, and he can't ever force someone when he has maybe another option, another fight that he's interested in. So maybe in the near future, we might be able to do it. I think it'll be a, 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 also an exciting fight. He's fought some of the best. He's fought the best, and he's, he's exciting, you know, and I think. Oh, oh I sorry, think I had to get him. He was swinging, he was I think, swinging. I think he would be, uh, you know, yeah. just the, the, the great matchup, you know? Yeah, no. All, all of these fights, you know, would be great. I think all the fights at uh, Walter would be great just because I'm trying to, you know, fight at a weight class that people don't believe I should be in. And I mean, just honestly, it is a bigger weight class. I probably could do a lot better if I was at a lower weight class, but I'm just trying to push myself, trying to just show and prove everybody that there's a lot more to it. To but you've also said that just because you're fighting right now at 147 doesn't mean that you won't come back to 140. Yeah, no, I, I could also come back. Um, it's just been. Things are probably going to be a lot more complicated at 140 right now to try to secure any title fights. Being that Ramirez holds two of the titles, stablemate, you know, Jose, and and uh, Taylor on the other hand has the other two, and both of them with top rank. And I don't think top rank wants to do business with me. So what am I going to do at 140? All right. Well, speaking of your stablemate. He has a fight, correct? Didn't his they fight were, get they, confirmed well, for August? They, I'm not sure if it's already 100% confirmed because I haven't talked to Robert or, or himself. But I know the fight was like on and off since like May, June, July. And yeah. So now they're saying August. I don't know if it's confirmed. But uh, you know, he's always here, you know, training. He's been training the whole time. So I uh, hope he gets his date and then you know get back in there because you know it's hard to, to be off you know for so long. Of course. How would you see that fight playing out? Him versus uh, Pistol. Uh, Pistol. Yes. I, I think he beats. I, I think he's just very strong. His aggressive style and, and, and come forward style is, is, is too much for Pistol at this, especially at this time now. Pistol kind of already maybe not quite in his in his prime like a few years ago, where he was very very skilled and lanky. And I mean, he's gonna try his best, but I think I think Ramirez is a strength. It's just too much. Hey, you, you spar with him. I spar he's with your, him. He's strong. Yeah. You spar with him, you spar with Virgil. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's all you guys in there just getting some like some well, good heavy duty work. You work with the best and you, you improve. You know? Awesome. So again, you have uh, two of your stable mates. Uh, yeah. We have Brian Luau Brian and, uh, and, and Louis Coria fighting on Thursday. They will be fighting uh, this Thursday night. So we wish them the best. Kick awesome. Ass. All right. Well, thank you. We oh, and you're sparring. You yourself have been going in the gym. Yeah. I actually sparred Luau last week a couple of rounds. Uh, I sparred Brian a couple rounds, uh, finished that. I, I was helping uh, Hector a few rounds also. Um, who else? Uh, some of the guys there. Okay, this is the last question. Abner Mates and Ryan Garcia. I know you've I've seen... heard they're going back and forth. Oh my know. God, yo, they've been. I don't know, I don't know if, if, if that's anything real likely to happen based on, on, on a few things. Size-wise, Abner's a lot smaller. I don't know. I mean, he's willing to do it. You know, There's no question, one, yeah. No question about that. But I don't know if that's a fight that uh, that Golden Boy might be interested. I heard them say that Abner's too small and they don't want to do it for that reason, which I could see. You know, you know that being the the, the factor that, that keeps that fight from happening. Although, like I said, Abner's down for it. You know, he, he's he's willing to do it, and he's also you know very experienced fighter. You know, who can definitely do it against a younger kid. You know, that's kind of like you know does experience overcome the youth. You know, that that kind of thing. It's kind of like how. 
you know, Devin, because I know Devin, Devin wants you. I mean, you got all these guys that are, you know, just kind of budding also. Yeah, they, they're at the moment of their careers where they need the bigger names. He's got to step up the, the opponents. And they think, you know, maybe getting a name that's, you know, done it, former champion like myself or Abner or in this case, you know, might help them, you know. They feel confident, you know, and, and they think they can beat, you know, a guy like myself. Or, so, you know, they mentioned like Nathan Broner for some of the other guys or myself. Like, that's that's where I was at one time also. So I, I definitely understand where they're coming from, but it's not always like that. Yeah, not I always, know. Gonna work. Yeah, no, most definitely. Okay, well, thank you so much. I'm happy to hear that you're back in training. A little bit. Yeah. Um, well, just a little bit. You're not for anything Helping. particular, but. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stay retired for a while. Whatever. All right. Thank you. Thank you.